हेलो एवरीवन वर्कशीट टू क्वेश्चन वन इन क्वेश्चन वन इट इज गिवन दैट पी क्यू आर एस इज अ ट्रेपीजियम इन विच पी क्यू पैरल एस आर एंगल पी थर्टी डिग्री एंगल क्यू फिफ्टी डिग्री फाइंड एंगल आर एंड एस सो इट इज गिवन दैट पी क्यू आर एस इज अ ट्रेपीजियम so we will make the figure in the form of a trapezium in which p and angle q measurements are given and now we have to find out angle r and angle s since pq parallel sr it is given that since pq parallel sr and make sure that you will write the reasoning also along with it which is given therefore the sum of these two will be equals to what it will be equals to 180 degree so therefore angle p plus angle s equal 180 degree ye kyun hoga because of co interior angles co interior angles so if lines are parallel to each other then the co interior angle sum is 180 degree now we will substitute the value over here so 30 degree plus angle s equal 180 degree so angle s equal 180 minus 30 degree so angle s you will get it as 150 degree angle s you will get it as 150 degree now how will you find out angle r angle r either you can take the same concept angle q plus angle r equal 180 degree since both of them are parallel or you can take the sum of the interior angle of a quadrilateral as 360 degree also teen angles aapke paas hain fourth angle you have to find out तो so, 360 में से इन तीनों का सम माइनस कर देंगे यू विल गेट एंगल फोर और एंगल आर तो इट्स ऑन यू वट एवर मेथड यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई यू कैन तो एंड एंगल क्यू प्लस एंगल आर इज ऑल्सो इक्वल्स टू 180 एटी डिग्री तो सेम रीजन को इंटीरियर एंगल को इंटीरियर एंगल्स so now put the value of angle q so 50 degree plus angle r equal 180 degree so angle r equal 180 minus 50 degree so you will get angle r as 130 degree so angle s you will get it as 150 degree and angle r you will get it as 130 degree so at the end you will write it therefore angle r equal 130 degree and angle s equal 150 degree so this is the answer in question 2 question 2 is that it is given in the question that abcd is a quadrilateral with angle a 80 angle b 40 angle c 140 angle d 100 degree you have to tell is abcd is a trapezium or is abcd is a parallelogram for this you have to give the proper reason also proper reason also you have to give here abcd is a quadrilateral in which all these angles are given agar wo trapezium hoga so one of the opposite pair the side pair should be parallel to each other aur wo parallel kab hoga agar unka co interior angle ka sum co interior angle ka sum agar 180 degree aa jata hai any one pair 180 डिग्री आ जाता है तो ये लाइन आपस में पैरेलल हो जाएगी 
देन इट विल बी अ पैरल अगर सम 180 एट्टी डिग्री आ जाता है सो वी विल गो फॉर द क्वेश्चन फॉर द फर्स्ट पार्ट लेट सी वेदर इट इज अ ट्रेपीजियम हेयर इन दिस एंगल ए प्लस एंगल एंगल ए प्लस एंगल डी एंगल डी लेट सी वट विल यू गेट इट एट्टी डिग्री प्लस हंड्रेड डिग्री तो विच इज इक्वल्स टू वन एट्टी डिग्री एंड एंड सिमिलरली वी कैन सी एंगल बी प्लस एंगल सी दिस इज फोर्टी डिग्री प्लस वन फोर्टी डिग्री तो इट इज इक्वल्स टू वन एट्टी डिग्री so in this case this is also 180 degree and this is also 180 degree so what do you observe both the sum is 180 degree so it means here we will write it the sum of sum of interior angles interior angles इक्वल 180 एटी डिग्री इक्वल वन एटी डिग्री दोनों का सम वन एटी डिग्री है तो वट डज इट मीन दैट दिस पैरल दिस तो दिस एम्प्लाइज ए बी पैरल सी डी ए बी पैरल सी डी एंड जब वन ऑफ द अपोजिट पेयर पैरल होगा देन देर फोर ए बी सी डी ए बी सी डी इज अ trapezium is a trapezium okay now we will go for the next part that we have to prove that whether it is a, a parallelogram or not parallelogram kab hoga jab dono opposite sides parallel honge ab ye do opposite sides to parallel hain these two opposite sides are parallel now we have to see whether these two sides are also parallel agar ye bhi parallel ho jati hain then we can say that abcd is also a parallelogram now we will go for whether these two are parallel uske liye hame kya karna padega in dono ka sum angle a angle b sum and angle d angle c sum we have to see whether it is 180 degree or not so now we will go for this we will see whether angle a plus b is 180 degree so angle a plus angle b this is equals to 80 degree plus 40 degree and which is equals to 120 degree अब ये इन दोनों एंगल का सम आपका 180 नहीं आया है तो यू विल राइट दी सम ऑफ इंटीरियर एंगल दी सम ऑफ इंटीरियर एंगल इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू एंगल इज not 180 degree is not 180 degree therefore therefore agar ye 180 degree nahi hai to it means ye dono lines parallel nahi hai therefore ad not parallel not parallel to bc ab jab wo parallel hi nahi hai so this means that abcd is not a parallelogram so from this question we have observed that in this condition abcd is a trapezium in question 3 question 3 is one of the angles of a parallelogram is 75 degree one angle is given as 75 degree find the measure of the remaining angles means we have to find out angle b c and d 
for finding the other angles here you should know the properties of a parallelogram in parallelogram opposite angles are equal wait very well so we know that we know that in parallelogram opposite angles opposite angles are equal are equal in parallelogram opposite angles are equal so therefore angle a equal angle c equal 75 degree so hamare paas angle c we have taken it as 75 degree एंगल सी हमारे पास आ गया नाउ हाउ टू फाइंड आउट एंगल बी एंड एंगल डी एंगल बी एंड एंगल डी हाउ विल यू फाइंड आउट नाउ कैसे फाइंड आउट करेंगे अब देखिए सिंस इट इज अ पैरलोग्राम इट इज ऑलरेडी गिवन दैट इट इज अ पैरलोग्राम तो हमारे पास एंगल ए प्लस एंगल डी इक्वल वन एटी डिग्री होगा ठीक है तो now we will take angle a plus angle d equal 180 degree reason kya reason hoga co interior angles equal 180 degree co interior angles hoga co interior angles ab angle a is already given Here seventy-five degree. So angle A, we will take it as seventy-five degree plus angle D equal one eighty degree. So angle D equal one eighty degree minus seventy-five degree. Angle D equal one zero five degree. So आपके पास angle D भी आ गया one zero five degree. How will you find out angle B? सेम वे विच यू हैव टेकन इट फॉर एंगल ए एंड सी अगर एंगल डी आपके पास 105 है तो एंगल बी विल आल्सो बी 105 बिकॉज अपोजिट एंगल्स ठीक है नाउ वी विल राइट नाउ एंगल डी इक्वल एंगल बी इक्वल 105 डिग्री रीजन अपोजिट Angles of parallelogram. Opposite angles of parallelogram are equal. Okay, so we will get angle B also. So and at the end you will write it all the remaining angle. Therefore, angle B equal one zero five degree. Angle C equal seventy five degree. And angle D equal 105 degree. So this is one of the important property of a parallelogram that in parallelogram opposite angles are equal. In question fourth, question fourth is two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio one ratio five. एडजेसेंट एंगल्स एडजेसेंट एंगल्स आपके पास दिए फाइंड द ऑल द एंगल्स ऑफ अ पैरलोग्राम तो वी विल टेक लेट द एडजेसेंट एंगल्स बी वन एक्स और एक्स एंड फाइव एक्स तो हम यहां पर एडजेसेंट एंगल इसको वन एक्स ले लेते हैं एंड दिस वी कैन टेक इट एज फाइव एक्स एडजेसेंट एंगल नॉट अपोजिट एंगल एडजेसेंट एंगल वी हैव टू टेक अब आपके पास ये दिया हुआ है तो हाउ विल यू प्रोसीड नाउ सिंस इट्स अ पैरलोग्राम ए बी सी डी इज अ पैरलोग्राम इट इज गिवन सिंस सिंस ए बी सी डी इज अ पैरलोग्राम देर फोर एंगल ए प्लस एंगल डी इक्वल वन एटी डिग्री रीजन को इंटीरियर एंगल 
co-interior angles, co-interior angles, co-interior angle. Therefore, now we will put the value x plus 5x equal 180 degree, 6x equal 180 degree. So, from here we will find out x that is 180 degree upon 6 cancel it. You will get x value as 30 degree. x value you will get it as 30 degree. So, what should be angle A now? Therefore, angle A we have taken it as x angle A as 30 degree. Angle D as 5 multiply 30. So, it will be 150 degree, 150 degree. Angle A 30 degree and angle D you will get it as 150 degree. How will you find out angle C and B? Kaise find out karoge? Angle A and angle D, uh, sorry, angle A and angle C both of them are equal. Why? Opposite angles of a parallelogram are always equal. This means angle A equal angle C equal 30 degree and angle D equal angle B equal 150 degree. So, dono ke saath we can write the combined reason opposite angles of parallelogram are equal, are equal. So, don't forget to give the reason. Question 5. In question 5, it is uh, given an exterior angle of a parallelogram 110. Find the angles of a parallelogram. Exterior angle. Exterior means the angle which is outside. So, we have taken exterior angle as 110. Here, this is the exterior angle. Now, we will find out the remaining angles. Remaining angles we will find out. So, how will you find out here? Kaise nikalenge yahan par? Ab, let this point, isko hum kuch name de dete hai. Let it be E. We will name it as E here. E de dete hai angle ka naam. अब इन दोनों एंगल का सम इन दोनों एंगल का सम क्या होगा 180 डिग्री होगा because of linear pair तो we will write angle B plus angle C B E equal 180 डिग्री this is angle B and angle this equal 180 डिग्री reason Linear pair, linear pair. Now we will put its value angle B plus 110 equal 180 degree. So angle B kitna a jayega humare paas? 180 degree minus 110. So we will get angle B equal 70 degree. Ab humare paas angle B 70 degree a gaya. Now observe the figure once again. Agar angle B 70 hai, which other angle will also be equal to 70? The opposite angle. Okay. So this implies angle B equal. Opposite angle kya hai parallelogram mein? B ka opposite kya hai? D. So angle B equal angle D equal 70 degree. So reason opposite angle of a opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. So, humare paas angle B and angle D we have taken it. Ab bataye, how will you find out angle A and C? Agar angle B a gaya aapke paas, so how will you find out angle A? Or angle D is there, to in dono angle ka sum, angle A and angle D, equals to 180 degree angle a plus angle d equal 180 degree reason co-interior angles 
co-interior angles. Now, you have to say angle D is already given in the question. Angle D is there in the question. So, you can find, uh, put the value in it. Angle D ki value put kar dijiye. So, angle A plus 70 degree equal 180 degree. Angle A you will get it as 180 degree minus 70 degree. Angle A you will get it as 110 degree. Agar angle A 110 hai, what should be angle C? Angle C will also be 110 degree. So, angle A equal angle C equal 110 degree. Why? Why? Opposite angles, opposite angles of a parallelogram are always equal, are always equal. Now, don't forget to write the answer at the end. Therefore, angle A equal 110 degree, angle B equal 70 degree, angle C equal 110 degree and angle D equal 70 degree. So, at the end you have to write all the angles. Question 6. Question 6 is two adjacent sides of a parallelogram are 3 ratio 8 and perimeter is given 110 centimeter. Find the sides of a parallelogram. So, two adjacent sides. So, we take two adjacent sides. One le is 3x. Le lete hain, 3x centimeter and the other one as 8x centimeter. So, 3x and 8x. Now, here in the question, mein diya hua hai, perimeter is given 110 degree. If this is 3x, so this will also be 3x, opposite side. This is 8x, so BC will also be 8x. Why? Opposite angle of a parallelogram are, sorry, opposite sides of a parallelogram are always equal. So, we write AB equal 3x centimeter and AD equal BC equal 8x centimeter. What is the reason? Opposite sides, opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Now, question mein diya hua hai that its perimeter is 110 degree. Perimeter means the sum of all these sides. Sum of all these sides is 110 degree. So, in next step, perimeter equal 110 centimeter. This is given. This is given. Therefore, sum of all sides AB plus BC plus CD plus DA equal 110. Now, what do we do? Instead of all these sides, we will put its value. So, 3x, bx, we have 8x, liya hai. cd, we have taken it as 3x, and this is 8x. 110 degree. Now, uh, solve it for the 22x equal 110 degree. 22. So, x will be 110 degree upon 22. So, it will go with 5. x you will get it as 5. Now, the question is you have to find the sides of a parallelogram. Sides of a parallelogram. Therefore, AB equal 3x 3x mana hai, so it will be 3 into 5. This is equals to 15 centimeter. So CD bhi aapka 15 centimeter hoga. Opposite side. Now AD, what should be AD? AD is 
8 x centimeter so 8 into 5 this is 40 centimeter agar ad 40 hai then bc will also be 40 bc equal 40 centimeter okay so at the end you will write all the sides of a parallelogram that's all for today thank you and have a nice day